Now, your local Storm Tracker 2 forecast. Welcome back, everyone. It is just about to hit 1213 on our Tuesday afternoon. Boy, it is still cloudy. It is still uh, foggy. There's still snow coming down for some of us, and uh, it's still slippery on those roads. So you do want to take it slow as you head out. Uh, we were hoping that we would see a little bit of clearing, but not happening this this afternoon. Now uh, we are picking up on still the possibility of some additional snow. Most of these snow totals for potential snowfall through Tuesday, we've already picked up on these two to three inches, but we could see a very light dust in addition to what we've already seen. So for example, Spokane overnight, we picked up on two inches. Still the chance that we could see a little bit more into the remainder of your day. One thing not helping us out much is the temperatures. We are struggling to get out of the teens. We may not even make it out of the teens by the end of the day, but we are hoping for low 20s by the end of it. We've already seen Yakima get there. Sandpoint has gotten there. Spokane still struggling a bit. 16 degrees in Spokane, 19 in Pullman. Uh, we're hoping again for that afternoon high of about 22 in Spokane. Uh, Lewiston broke a record yesterday for snowfall, a record daily snowfall at Lewiston Airport. They picked up on 4.8 inches uh, compared to the previous record of just 2.7 inches back in 1954. That was just their daily record for uh, January 14th. But hey, nonetheless, Lewiston not really known for breaking snow records, usually more heat related records, right? As far as your temperatures go for this afternoon, again, it is going to take a lot for us to get there, but we still have about three or four hours to warm up a bit. We're hoping for 22 in Spokane, 22 in Coeur d'Alene, 21 in Ritzville, 20 degrees in Wilbur, and 25 in Moses Lake. Our friends off toward Kalispell staying in the teens for the rest of the day. Same situation up around Okanagan County where temperatures are staying in the very low teens. As far as what we've got for the remainder of your day, still a couple chances of snow in the forecast. 530 PM shows just around Spokane County and Kootenai County. Uh, time to interfere with that uh, evening commute. So if you start seeing some snow showers pop up, you are not alone. They extend all the way through Spokane and Kootenai County before things dry up quite a bit into the rest of your Wednesday. Wednesday going to be a dry day. Things are looking really Really nice. Then late Wednesday night, we see the arrival of another quick moving system that comes through. Uh, the good news that we have in the forecast is that temperatures are gradually warming up. We will get above freezing by your weekend. Of course, the bad news is how long that takes. We're going to go through another couple days of below freezing temperatures, both in the afternoon and in the overnight hours. Very cold to say the least, very slippery on those roads. Take some caution out there.